photographer. I do music videos, sometimes commercials. I'm a filmmaker using your wedding as a test run for my equipment. I like to make it very easy. All the packages are all the same. Everything includes full coverage from the getting ready to the send off. A second shooter. I want to be able to have several angles to cut in between. I want to keep this in the moment. I don't want to have to resort to B-roll unless I want to on purpose. It also benefits us to have someone there uh, for backup, someone who's not looking at the day the same way that I am or is just, just general backup is good. All packages include drone footage. I'm gonna fly my drone no matter what. <laughs> drone time. All packages include the original raw footage. Now I understand why a lot of videographers just refuse to give raw footage at all. You have to understand that that footage is raw. It includes the beginning and the end of the shot when I'm setting up and it, it, doesn't, it doesn't represent my work. But the idea is that you guys are together forever. The way that I look at it is that the coverage that I got, I want you to be able to do whatever you want with it until the end of time. The differences in my packages is the length of the videos. So the feature is a full length of video. It's gonna include the ceremony in its entirety. It's going to include the full speeches. It's gonna include all moments at length. And it usually, depending on the length of your speeches, the length of your ceremony is usually gonna be about 20 to 45 minutes. The short is a five to 10 minute video. It's going to cut together the important stuff, the good parts of the speeches, the highlights of the ceremony. Then there's the trailer, which is more or less a music video. It's just footage to music. And then there's the option of getting just footage. I sell stock footage, so I have a stock footage release discount. The only time that I've ever had people not interested in this is if they have a really deep sense of privacy and they don't want their footage seen elsewhere. Are you trying to describe my style is tough. I want to say cinematic, but I think I'm always aiming for more dry documentary. I don't think it would be sound, there'll be music going on. It's just more about like our facial grizzly. <laughs> <laughs> See, I bet you that's on the video though. <laughs> <laughs> Champ. My shooting style is innately very invisible. I want to be as non-intrusive as possible as though I'm shooting a nature doc. I don't tend to jump in and manipulate the moment very often. I usually won't ask for a second take. I don't want the authenticity of the documentary to be compromised, but every now and then a reenactment is necessary, like say the two of you are walking off the beach and there's this really pretty moment of the two of you after the ceremony and a tourist in a bright blue bathing suit jumps in your path and ruins my shot. I will ask you to do it again. For portraits, I follow the photographer's lead for the most part. Notes to talk to me about. Make sure that I know who's important, what is sentimental to you, how invasive you want me to be. Like for example, like when you put the rings on, do you want me to jump in and get that close up or is that distracting to your audience? Make me aware of what's important. I've met wedding crashers, but if they don't reveal themselves to me, I assume that you know everybody. Your wedding video is only only gonna become more valuable to you as time goes on. It is more than anything else a time capsule. Like, look how awesome our hair was. Do you remember when you can smoke indoors? That type of thing. Whoever you choose for your wedding videographer, you're gonna want somebody that you vibe with because then most likely they'll be able to really see you and we're gonna be able to build this really authentic piece that's sentimental to you. Mm -hmm.